Oh, oh, combo, combo achieved, unlocked. They better have lethal, because if not, I got it. <laughs> oh, shh. <laughs> well, thankfully, that's not lethal, but man, that fucking hurts. Yes, I'm sure. What's up everybody, my name's Chance, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Mono Black Nyx Abyss deck, and this deck is so freaking awesome. So I got to looking at Underworld Dreams and Peer into the Abyss, you know, everybody was playing it in Golgari and ramping up, and everybody was doing this and that. Um, but I never saw a Nyx Lotus, Underworld Dreams, Peer into the Abyss, like, I, I never saw that played up against me, and I was like, but, but why? <laughs> it's a turn five instant kill combo right and a, in a, a not a very hard turn five instant kill combo at that right so the idea or the concept here very simple very easy turn three you're getting down underworld dreams right has three solid ma mono black mana cost normally would seem a bit much but we're playing mono black today so it's it's easy peasy lemon squeezy this card reads whenever an opponent draws a card underworld dreams deals one damage to that player next turn will be turn four we'll play down another land and we'll slam down nyx lotus now this says nyx lotus enters the battlefield tapped and then obviously it untaps in the next turn tap it choose a color add an amount of mana of that color equal to your devotion to that color <laughs> Um, so a little, a little complicated, but basically, if you have Underworld Dreams down, while you have Nyx Lotus, it's going to tap for three mana, right? Does that make sense? If you have, because it has three little uh, swamp symbols, I guess. Uh, same thing, if you have Underworld plus Murderous Rider, it's going to tap for five mana, right? So you, you kind of see where that's going. Anyways, point is, turn three, Underworld Dreams. Turn four, you get down Nyx Lotus and it's tapped. Turn five, it becomes untapped, and you have a devotion of three at least because you have Underworld Dreams down, right? And you have at least four mana because you just got down Nyx Lotus. So total, you'll have seven mana for that turn, and you, well, yeah, you, you guessed it. Seven mana equals peer into the abyss. So turn three, Underworld Dreams, turn four, Nyx Lotus, turn five, peer into the abyss, and your opponent loses. You say, Chance, how do they lose? Well, it's pretty easy. Target player draws cards equal to half the number of cards in their library. So, let's see. Uh, by by the, the time turn five hits, they'll have gotten, you know, potentially the seven that they start with, and then draw five more cards. So twelve cards total, taken out of sixty, leaves them with forty-eight, which means they're drawing twenty-four cards, right? And obviously, that's give or take here or there, whatever. Could be twenty, whatever. Um, loses half their life, so they're going to draw half their cards, 24. They're going to lose half their life, so even if they're at 20, they're going to go down to 10. And you round up each time, so that's just kind of nice. But anyways, <clears throat> so you're half in your opponent's life, even if they're at 40 or something like that, you know, they're getting half down to 20. Um, you're, or equally so, 30 down to 15, right? You're making them draw half the number of cards in their library, so, you know, whatever that 48 number was 24 right and then you're dealing one damage for every single time they draw a card which will be that 24 number so you're taking them down to 10 15 then dealing 24 damage with peer into the abyss and this is all about turn five right so they they would have to have some very good setup in order to avoid being instantly killed by this so it's a very com it's a very combo fun <laughs> it's a very fun combo um, I enjoyed playing it a, a hell of a lot, and it, it's worked around one of my favorite decks, um, well, recently that's came out, right? It came out in Theros. And that's going to be Mono Black Devotion. So, uh, uh, surrounding this combo, because uh, of course this is already an awesome combo, but you need an awesome deck to go with an awesome combo, otherwise... Mm, mm. 
<laughs> so not of the Evan Legion, three of it's a strong one mana drop and can boost it up and end up dealing damage all on its own. It can gain death touch. It's uh, it's it's a very strong and abrasive card. Unfortunately, it is rotating. So if you don't have it, don't worry about picking it up. We'll go into some alternative options in the deck tech wrap up at the end. So Raid Scorpion, whenever it dies, it's going to deal two damage to each opponent, and you're going to get to gain two life. So that's really good at just keeping you healthy and all that. Also, it's a 1-2, so if it gets mono red aggro, it's pretty good. Village Rite's going to allow you to sacrifice a creature and draw two cards. This helps you get closer and closer and closer to your combo, quicker and quicker and quicker. Priest of Forgotten Gods, again, going to allow you to draw cards, going to allow you to make the opponent lose two life. You're going to get to add mana here, so sometimes it's really good to get to your peer into the abyss if you didn't happen to hit the next Lotus, right? Next up, we have Grasp of Darkness. Two mana, minus four, minus four on target creatures. Really good. Came out in M20, and it's an instant speed common. I mean, what else do you want from a common, right? Tire Merit Chosen from Death does keep you very healthy, and it does give you awesome devotion cost. Same as your Ox Fin Lurker, except this doesn't keep you healthy. It's more so hand hate, right? Makes your opponent exile a card from their hand. Not discard it, but exile it. Next up, we have Murder Rider 2. Uh... Yeah, two monochromatic black costs for this, which means two devotion. Um, you can destroy target creature or planeswalker. You can throw it down as a life linker. All in all, it's solid, solid, solid. Underworld Dreams, Nyx Lotus, and Pyramid of the Abyss, we've already gone over. Rankle, um, you know, making your opponent discard a card, making them draw a card, you know, all this stuff sort of hurts them, and with Underworld Dreams, it literally hurts them. Um, Rankle's just in here to, to sort of help fuel the, the fire, right? It's good devotion. It's a flying haster, which means it's great at ending out the game if you're very close to ending it. Next up, we have Grey Merchant of Asvidel, 5 mana for 2 4. Whenever in this battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is your devotion, you gain life equal to the life lost this way. So, you know, keeps you healthy. And then last but not least, we have Bolas' Citadel. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play lands, cast spells, all that good stuff. Um, but it does cost life equal to the CMC of what you're casting. However, this does help get down your combo, right? If, if you already have Nyx Lotus and uh, Underworld Dreams, casting Bolas' Citadel is actually easier than Peer into the Abyss, right? So getting this down and then casting Peer into the Abyss off the top of your library, you know, it, it gives you... An ability to just go diving for it, of course. And then there's a the sacrifice 10 non land permanence. Each opponent loses 10 life. That's always a fun way to end out the game as well, right? Anyways, with all that being said and out of the way, I'm getting several voice cracks this morning, so I, I need to go drink some water. <laughs> anyways, thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed. We're going to hop right into the matches. Make sure you watch all the way through to the deck tech wrap up. And of course, I'll see you there. Boros Mage 800. I didn't know Boros was too keen on the mages and whatnot, but hey, we got to keep this. We have Underworld Dreams and Peer into the Abyss, which means we only need the the the, the little flower, Nyx Lotus. There we go. Which honestly, we have Yorox Fin Lurker and Village Rites to help find it. Granted, you know, it takes a little long in order to get this down because we want to get Underworld Dreams down on turn three, not have to sacrifice stuff. But we'll see. We'll see how the cookie crumbles. We may just get lucky. But this, either which way, it's a nice one, two, three, you know, seven hand. <laughs> All right, Boros Mage, show me what you got, you beautiful Johnny, you. You, you sexy lion. You, you valiant hard worker, you. We're gonna try a new thing where we just we just compliment people. We don't insult them anymore. We just we just compliment. All right, your rocks fin lurker coming down. You forced my hand, Boros Mage. I'm sorry. I would never do it if I didn't have to, but you understand, I'm sure. You're a nice guy. You're a humble, kind motherfucker. Papa Junior BX2, yo, great YouTube videos. Yo, thank you for being a great supporter. All right, well, still no little flower, but that's okay. I'll throw down an Underworld Dreams and we'll be hopeful. 
That's all we really need. That's all I need in life is a pocket full of sunshine. All right, let's go. Simic, you think I'm scared just because you can ramp? Just because you can get down a lot of lands fast? I'll, I'll show you who ramps. I just need a land and I need my flower. Well, it sounds a little, <laughs> a little weird coming from a man with a very thick beard and very scraggly hair, but I want my flower. Destiny spinner. All right, fine, fine. We'll take the two damage. I'll, I'll nil this battle. But I want you to know you have not won the war. Do I care more about the devotion or about having a Knight of the Ebon Legion sort of threat down? Uh, it's an interesting thought either which way. And either which way, Yurok's Fin Lurker is swinging in, right? So let's let's hit it. I think we are sacrificing the Fin Lurker. Haha! <laughs> but boom, that's all we needed, baby. That's actually all we needed. So we'll go for the Nyx Lotus, then we'll go for the Peer into the Abyss, and uh, yeah, we'll see what Boros Mage has to say about it. Talking to a Johnny real sensual. <laughs> I, I'm talking to Boros Mage, and Johnny just happens to be the the face there. Archon of Sun's Grace. Them gaining life actually is bad for us, you know. All right, all right. I get it. The Destiny Spinner is gonna whittle us to death. All right, Nyx Lotus, go! <laughs> I feel like an evil villain, so for sure right now. I want my plan to go off and I think it's about to but it, it feels almost too easy right like we were just like oh hey look we have those two cards oh hey look let me just draw into the exact things I need oh hey look they played out perfectly <laughs> you know when does that happen in magic oh man I'll take it I'll certainly take it my arm's been killing me I tell y'all working Working, working, working. I need to like put an ice pack on it or a heating pad one. Do some do some stuff for it. So no blocks. We just we just take it, you know? Nice, easy on the face. They're up to 19. Let us do it. Target player draws cards equal to half the number of cards in their library and loses half their life. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. All right. Come on. Come on. Let it happen, Boros Mage. Just let it happen. Don't don't concede. Don't rope me. Just... Come on. Okay. They, they were away. They didn't... They weren't looking at the screen. Now they're looking. Now. Just hit resolve. Just... Bottom right, click, click. Narga. Sounds like an aquatic animal, like a whale. Narga whale. Uh, yeah, I mean, two of the three pieces. And we get to go first. We're just missing some lands, and I don't mean, I don't mind sacrificing a not an Ebon Legion for that. So, turn three, turn four. I mean, it would, still wouldn't be bad turn five, but... Again, we're looking for the combo. Senior or Senorita Narga. Let's get on with the matches. Show me what you're made of. Alrighty. Knight of the Heaven Legion, go. Goblin Arsonist. Y'all think it's a Winota deck? God, I hope not. I fucking hope not. Alright, let's look for a another land, shall we? Let's hit another land. We need two lands and uh, Peer into the Abyss. 
if if you would so kindly right if you would so kindly so I'm actually gonna do something crazy here we're gonna block it and kill it and then they're gonna select it with the one damage right and then boom village rights was it worth it I mean we hit the land we needed so I say yes <laughs> but boom some some would say that I needed to get the scorpion down there and hold up village rights. I think what I'm doing is A to the OK. Oh, oh, combo. Combo achieved. Unlocked. They better have lethal, because if not, I got it. <laughs> oh, shh. <laughs> Well, thankfully that's not lethal, but man, that fucking hurts. Yes, I'm sure. Oh, get it. <laughs> pow, 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 pow. <clears throat> Thank you, Narga, for being such an awesome foe. <laughs> Mac Green, or McGreen. Probably Mac Green. Another keepable. Another keepable. It's the great thing about this deck is that it's just very strong in general and it has a cool combo sort of uh, within it, right? And honestly, the, the Nyx Lotus gives you so much mana. It's, it's nice for the Bolas of Citadel. So yeah, let's keep it. We'll play Priest. Maybe murderous. I would like to see the Nyx Lotus here. It'd help us get up to that Citadel. But hey, we got the combo off in the first game. Like, literally, boom, right? Or is off Enforcer a classic? By the way, there's the Nyx Lotus, so maybe we can get to there. That'd be cool. There's a fine line you walk here between sacrificing your creatures with priests and having them for devotion for Nyx Lotus, right? Well, hey, there's some extra land. Don't mind if I do. I say we go ahead and slam the flower. Well, damn it, Chance, that's not the flower. I had every intention of slamming the flower, but whatever. Sure, priest. If they go to remove it, we can at least village rights it. So that's you know they're playing a death touch deck. What a what a cunning lad or lass. We'll take the damage. I'm not too worried about these little one one <laughs> scratches. You insult me. All right. We gotta do it. We gotta do it while they don't have too much of a board say, so right? Nyx Lotus, give me the mana of my color choice. Alright, so we're up to four mana. Could be murderous plus village rights is what I'm thinking. And we just get down murderous. Alright. We're hemorrhaging health fast. Very, very fast. Another village rights. We have one minute over there. If I throw down, hold up. If I throw down Ty Merit, that kicks our Nyx Lotus up to three, which means we still have five mana. Mm. Thinking. I think I do want Ty Merit down. Gray Merchant deals five, heals five. That's not bad, but I think I'd rather have. Uh, there's no way to do that, but we get to keep up two village rights. All right, <clears throat> we're going to destroy. No, we can do that in instant speed, right? We're gonna wait. We're gonna no attacks. We're gonna wait. I don't care about them gaining life, really. All right, what I do care about is my life total. So if I kill the Okay, I'm basically saving the same amount of life that I would normally, right? And we're still taking one, two, three, four. 
Oh, that worries me. Pass the damage. Let me have it. Another enforcer. Cool freaking beans. Gain some life this way. Alright, so we can get down Citadel. Would I rather pay three here, kick Lotus up to five, six, uh, or no, I can't do that because there's still off one here, huh? Could village rights the priest look for a land? The land doesn't do anything if I spend that minute, anyways. Alright, tell you what, we'll go for the murderous rider. Alright, use your castle. We all know you're going to. Oh, we still can. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. So, I could do this. And we deal 7, heal 7. We're back up to 14. If I block this turn, I'm blocking the Vampire of the Dire Moon, gaining up to 9. I think I'd still rather wait for Bolas of Citadel. Deal more, heal more, right? Uh, maybe I'm being greedy though. Maybe we're going too low there. Yeah. We still have village rights. Alright. Hooded Blight thing. That certainly sucks, and I'm glad I played Grey Merchant there so we didn't take any extra damage from the. Death Touchers. Alright, so are we using priests to sack before? If we do, they're sacking out one of their Orzhov Enforcers, so that's not too great. Alright. Then we're still taking four, we're down to six. Okay. So, we tap for a Citadel first. Our devotion doesn't matter at all past this, right? So then we can sack out Gray Merchant. Ooh. That's really good. It's really good for us to see, right? Let's play you down. Damn. It's hoping for either a gray merchant or uh, just the other piece of our combo there. I don't know if this is worth paying two life, given they can deal one, two, three, four, five. Already five, three get around. So I'm kind of dead right now as is. Uh, or no, I do have life. All right. Whew, super stressful, super stressful. Actually, I should have played Urox Fin Lurker. Get another look at another card. Well. That's okay. That's okay. Super happy that they they top deck a land there. What's up, Jupiter Joe? Hope you're having a good night, afternoon, day, whatever time it may be, wherever you are. 
Right, right, I forgot they had castle. Okay, show off. Just gonna swing at me with everything. Alright. This puts me back up to five. And a block with murderers, so up a few more points. What am I blocking though? I mean, I guess I could kill Hooded Blightfang, right? Then I'm taking two, three, four, five. But I'm also healing two, so I'm left with two life if I do this. Which means I can't play anything off the top. If I do this, I'm left with four life. I could at least play the card I need if I see it. I mean, I don't love it, but it's actually what needs to happen, I think. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, it's a rated scorpion. That's not what we needed. <laughs> Fine. Opponent won't let me use it on them. I'll use it on myself. <laughs> oppressed gamer. Well, I'm sorry that you feel so oppressed. It's not hard to see why I kept this hand. Two priests, some removal, some more removal. You know? Even if this is a Winota, I don't even care. We're gonna go for the priest. We're just gonna slam her. Slam her down. The card. Slam the card down. I just want everyone to know we're not talking about any actual... Oh my goodness, that's our third priest. What in, in the halo is happening? Let's go, Serrated Scorpion. You thought I wasn't prepared for this, but really, I'm not. Uh, I went for the scorpion first in case they had removal this way I can play my other priest instead of worrying about you know saving mana for this removal or whatever because I definitely want to have a priest like coming online as as soon as possible ASAP ASAP -y. all right so let's see it the one one dying to the scorpion as per the huge as per the huge so we're up to four mana that equals priest and grasp kill you okay well <laughs> our opponents just don't like us tonight epic monster ooh what a what an ooh yes <laughs> i like this hand i like this this man's name or woman's name an epic monster Hello. Hi. How are you? Well, there's all the all the land we need for the gray merchant, right? Let's hit him where it hurts, right in the right in the land hand. Uh, whoa. Mhm. Mm that's that's an impressive deck you got there. That's that's one mighty big deck. I haven't seen a deck that size since I was a wee boy. <laughs> this is what happens, by the way, whenever I do these these late night streams and I'm super tired and whatnot. Go, Knight of the Evan Legion, smash face. <laughs> Thanks. All right, if I could draw out the flower thingy, that'd be kind of cool. No, more land. All right, you know. That's uh, that's cool beans too. I mean, <laughs> what is up with my opponents tonight? Like, I feel like I'm goofy, silly, whatever. But like, yeah, what did, what did you think would happen when you played 140? card mutate deck did you think you were just gonna win easily 
<laughs> Alrighty, um... You just kick it on back. I mean, I don't know what to say. They just keep letting me smash face. Thanks. I wonder what they're looking for here. Cub Warden? I mean, we still have the Grey Merchant, so I'm not too worried. I'm just curious as to, like, what, what does their deck hold? You know? You know what I mean? I'm not going to say GG again. I feel like that would be a little BM. But, uh, yeah, what are we, 3-0, 4-0? Alrighty, you made it all the way through the matches. First and foremost, I'd like to say thank you. I know it takes a little bit to watch me play all the way through, but... Man, what a cool combo, right? What a, what a kick-ass combo. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like down below, comment in the comment section, subscribe, hit that bell icon, hop over to twitch.tv forward slash DrSpilk and toss a follow, and last but not least, there's a Discord link in the description of all the videos and all that good stuff. Now, on into the wrap-up. This, uh, this is a nice one. Mono Black Devotion always has a lot of uh, interesting pieces that can come in, right? Because... Devotion is really just built up off of, well, the mana cost having that color's mana symbol in the cost. It, it's confusing to explain, but y'all know what I'm saying, right? So kicking us off down here in the bottom end, we have Arc Fiend's Vessel. If you if you blah, 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 blah. if you want to go for the Arc Fiend's Vessel, um, call the Death Dweller, sort of bring back your smaller stuff, right? It, it's perfectly fine with this combo. You know, it can slide right in. Now, granted, you don't want to throw too many Call of the Death Dwellers in there because then that turn three will be fighting with your Underworld Dreams turn three. I think one or two is perfectly fine. Uh, yes, you can play Cat Oven in this deck. I, I just simply chose not to, uh, but yes, you most certainly can. Deadweight is another good, good uh, source of removal. Uh, not to mention that if you throw it on a creature and your opponent like combat tricks you and it doesn't get removed, right? They put a counter or something on it, whatever. Um, then you're getting to add that devotion to the board state, right? So it's even good in that manner. Next up, we have Hateful Odd Dolan. If you're looking to lean more into the whole enchantment or uh, whatever, you know, it is a good way to keep you healthy if you manage to enchant this creature and keep you drawing cards if you're using things such as Dead Wade and Myers Grasp and whatever. Uh, Kai's Ghost Form is another nice, nice, nice card. Um, this allows you to throw it on like your Grey Merchant or your Priest and they'll just come back and your opponent will be super mad. <laughs> uh, Heartless Act is some more removal if you don't like Grasp of Darkness. You know, people usually go one way or the other. Uh, Wishclaw Talisman and Grim Tutor are kind of in the same boat in the, f in the fact that they allow you to get to your combo. So... Wishclaw Talisman, two mana. Whenever it enters the battlefield, it has three wish counters on it. You're gonna pay one, tap it, remove a wish counter, and then you're gonna search your library for a card, whatever card you want, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Opponent gets control of Wishclaw Talisman. They get to activate this ability only during your turn. So goes to them, and then they can do it and find a card, and then you can do it and find another card. But the point is, you know, ideally, you would have Underworld Dreams and Nyx Lotus or Nyx Lotus and Peer into the Abyss or you know whatever you'd have some combination and then Wishclaw allows you to find the other ones you need right two mana it's rotation proof it only costs one mana after you you know place it down and your opponent only gets to find one card with which to sort out or whatever you know deal with your combo I, I think it's pretty cool and then of course Grim Tutor search your library for a card put that card into your hand then shuffle your library you lose three life um, it's a little more expensive, both in the fact that it deals you three to life and the fact that uh, it's three mana. It doesn't allow your opponent to find anything, so it doesn't allow them to find an answer. Um, they don't get to see the card. Of course, in Wishclaw, they don't get to see it either. It's, you know. Grim Tutor is what it is. It's rotation proof as well. It's a mythic. It's a little expensive if you ask me for what it does. Uh, call we talked about hunted nightmare three mana for four five minutes whenever hunted nightmare enters the battlefield target opponent puts a death touch counter on a creature they control not that bad for the big devotion cost and the big 
uh, creature you get out of this, right? But again, be careful with those three drops. Cavalier of Night. Five mana for this lifelinking 4-5 that can come in, sacrifice a creature, and then kill an opponent's creature. Also allows you to return a 3-CMC creature or less from the bat or from the graveyard to the battlefield whenever this card dies. So all around, it's just a hoss, and it's a great 5-mana drop if you don't really like Grey Merchant. It does even add uh, more devotion than Grey Merchant does, right? But Grey Merchant heals you for more explosively. You know, it's up to you. And then last but not least, yes, if you want to play Masker Worm in the deck, play Masker Worm. Maybe take out Bolas the Citadel. Maybe you don't have Bolas the Citadel. Either way, it's fine. Masker Worm does work in the deck. I think it's a very, very fun card, right? And Nyx Lotus and World Dreams helps you sort of get to this point. Um, and then I guess in those weird, weird, tiny niche situations where you have Underworld Dreams down, right? <clears throat> Goodness gracious, the voice cracks, the, the frog in the throats. The the situations where you have Underworld Dreams down and the opponent's playing Liliana and you manage to play Massacre Worm, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> Anyways, that's going to do it for the Deck Tech Wrap Up. Thanks, everybody, for watching. hope you enjoyed. As always, like, comment, subscribe, all that good, fantastic stuff. Sorry my voice is so rough. Sorry I'm looking a little rough. I'm trying to record enough intros, outros for like two to three weeks worth of videos, so some of them will be jumbled, jambled, and all smashed together, but I hope you enjoy nonetheless, and I hope you can sort of make out what I'm saying here, right? Anyways, thanks everybody, and I'll see you either later tonight or tomorrow. Peace.